My name is Dr. Gerald Chodak. In this video, I want to help you understand the grade of your cancer. The grade might be the most important piece of information we can get that will tell us how aggressive your cancer might behave. And the system most commonly used is called the Gleason grading system. Dr. Gleason was a pathologist, is a pathologist, who looked at many prostate biopsies. And he saw five different types of prostate cancer cells. So he numbered them one, two, three, four, and five. Number one cells, grade one cells, looked almost normal. And it turned out they tended to grow more slowly. On the other hand, grade five cancer cells were much more abnormal and tended to behave much more aggressively. Often, he found that patients would have more than one type. So he assigned every man whose biopsy was looked at two numbers. The first number, from one to five, represented the most common type of cancer cell under the microscope on your biopsy. And the second number, also from one to five, represented the second most common number on the biopsy. So you have two numbers, from one to five each, and you add them up. So the best you can have, or the lowest you can have, is one plus one, or two. And the worst you can have is five plus five, or 10. And so patients can have any number from two to 10. And it turns out that the lower that number is, the less dangerous is your prostate cancer. Now, what happens if all the cells look the same, which can occur? Well, then you just doubled the number of the Gleason grade that you received. So if you got a number of three, then your total Gleason score was three plus three, or six. In the United States today, the most common grade or Gleason score we find is a three plus three, or six. That's probably around 70%. And less than 10% are actually Gleason scores of eight, nine, and 10, the more dangerous ones. Gleason scores of seven are kind of in between. The general feeling is those are not as dangerous as Gleason eight, nine, and 10, but they are more dangerous than Gleason scores of six. So this information is critical for us to assess in order to help guide the decision about your treatment. Now, what you need to understand also is that this is a subjective interpretation. In other words, the pathologist is looking under the microscope and giving you his or her interpretation. It turns out that if you show the biopsy to a different pathologist, you can not uncommonly get a different Gleason score. And so sometimes the biopsies are sent to places where they do lots and lots of prostate cancer interpretation as a way to try to get the best expert advice or interpretation that's possible. So there is this variation. Another peculiarity is if we do your biopsy and then look at it compared to your operative report, the tumor that's removed at surgery, we find that many times the cancer grade will actually be a little bit higher on the pathology report from surgery. So that makes things a little bit more confusing when we're doing the interpretation. But the bottom line is that when you're trying to plan what to do, you have a lot more freedom of choice if your Gleason score is six or lower. Those cancers often may grow so slowly that they don't need to be treated immediately or ever in some cases. On the other hand, if you have a Gleason score of eight, nine, or 10, that is a more dangerous cancer and it is more likely you're going to need to get treated in a more aggressive way. With this information, you should be helped in order to understand your Gleason score, understand your grade, and what some of the significance means. Thank you.